Hi everyone, it's Trisha here. Okay, so I thought I'd come on and show you how I made my little um, handmade books. There's lots of tutorials out there, um, but I just figured out, you know what, I'm going to copy one of the little shop store ones. So what I've got is um, 10 sheets of um, A4 paper cut in half, copier paper, and then half a sheet of A4 cardstock. Okay, so I folded both of them, making sure they were tight in. Folded both of them. Now, there will be an overhang because of the um, folding in the paper, but that's okay. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure... Hang on, can't do this in this angle. We want to make sure that that is right in, marrying up with the score line on the card. So I'm going to use some of my little... Um, sorry, I'm covered in ink. Use, use some of my little um, fabric thingy-me-bobs, what you call them, clips. Right, so, what I'm going to do is make sure my thread's through, okay? Now, line up um, your score line with your needle, okay? And pop your guard down. Now, that's slightly out, so let me move it over a smidgen. There we go. And you want to... Hang on, let me start that again. You want to, is that the middle? Yes. I want to make sure there's plenty excess thread at the back here because we are going to manually pop it in. Okay, now that's slightly out still, so just take the time and get it so that it's where you want it, okay? So all I'm going to do is do a couple of stitches and then go back. Right, and then back again. You can see it's jumping about a little bit, so we do need to go really slow and make sure we're getting that straight line. You can see how I'm just holding it in place. Oh, come on, don't be shy. Oh, my eyes are going together. So it's wobbling a little bit, but that's my hands. Okay, I'm slightly off my score line, but you know what, it's okay. Because it's still going to look all right. Just make sure you take the time. Okay, so I'm going to reverse a little, and then I'm going to take it right off. Lift that up. Okay, pull that out. Oops, just dropped my specs. You can see I'm slightly out. Ever so slightly out. But what you're aiming for, like this book, is you want the stitch in to be exactly in the middle. But you know what, I'm not gonna waste this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna switch around the view, and then you can be looking down on the desk with me. Hi folks, I'm back. Right, so, what we want to do is we want to take a tiny little trimming off of each of the edges of the actual um, book pages. I'm sorry if that sun's getting in the way. Let me close the blinds for you. Quick second. Like so. That's better. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the book. Okay, we're going to marry up these pages, okay? And we are going to trim off... Now, it's important you keep this exactly in place, okay, so that we're, um, make sure it is straight, okay, bear in mind there's a little lip there, okay, right, I'm going to line that up, take a little bit off, perfect, okay, let's do the same on the other side, so just gauge, it's just the tiniest little bit that we need to take off, so I'm going to use this, um, middle score light, um, guide, as my ruler and now you do need a nice crisp blade for this um, you would get a bit a bit of freeing if you were to use a blade that was out slightly now I need another little smidgen off of that because it's still overlapping so do that again Trisha okay so holding it there make sure that's straight then off it comes there that's a bit better. Ta-da! Right, okay, next stage is 
to round off the corners. Now, unfortunately, this trusted steed of mine, hang on a second, for delivery. Goodness me. That's twice now that the um, Amazon guy has just stared and waved at me in the window rather than knock the door. Got the fright of my life there thinking, who's that man? <laughs> right. Okay, sorry about that. So what we need to do, we need to remove excess thread. She will always get the under and over thread excess at the start and the finish. Okay, so we're going to round off the corners. Okay, let's go. Now, unfortunately, this punch has retired, is retiring, and um, I was ready to promote how a useful punch it is. Um, yesterday, when I did my first book, and then I checked the inventory, and it's already sold out. So I do apologise if you're after this. It is now gone. So it's so important if you've got something in your sights that's on the last chance list, it is important to um, get that as soon as you can or as soon as you're able. Right, okay, now to do the corners of the cover. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Right, here we go. And there we have a gorgeous little notebook. Look at those. So there's one, two, three. It didn't take that long. Doesn't cost that much. And I've saved myself a quid. All right, these ones are lined that you get out of Asda. Um, quite plasticky paper. So I don't know, don't know what that coating is on there. But these are obviously fully recyclable with them being paper. So yeah, have a little go. Um, let me know if you've made any. These are going to be decorated. Um, there's my little pouch tutorial. Because I thought, you know what, I really enjoy making things by hand. So, let me see what I have here. Where is my tutorial for this? Da -da 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 -da. Here it is. So, this is a PDF. There's a picture there. Let me take it out so there's not a glare. There is a little picture, and you can find that over on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Smith's Crafty Creations. Um, how to decorate it, add a ribbon, so it's got a pull-out um, section on there. So, yeah, thank you much, so much for um, watching. If you're not already subscribed, please, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a wee like or a comment. It really does help my channel. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.